what is going on YouTube? Coming back at you with another video. Let's wake up America. Let's wake up y'all. Um about to spit some knowledge to you. I know everybody's a little confused about some stuff, but I hope you get a great understanding after I post this video. And if you come across this video and it help you, glory be to God. But like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. You know, after you're done looking at it. Make sure you're liking the videos, y'all. And sharing them. Or just watch it and not like it. Or if you're watching it and you're not subscribed, subscribe to my channel. But with that being said, um, this video is going to be about hell is not the same place as the lake of fire. Hell and the lake of fire is two different places, y'all. Two different places. But, but, there's a righteous side and there's an unrighteous side to hell. Another word for hell is Sheol. Sheol, the grave. So when you hear people tell you, oh, 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 you... Oh, go to hell, go to hell. Hey, everybody gotta gotta go, gotta um go to hell. But, but, which side are you gonna be on? The righteous side or the unrighteous side? Stay with me now. Don't 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 get confused or be like, man, what is he talking about? What is it? Listen. Now you go in the Bible. It, it talks about it. Revelation talks about it. Revelation talks. About it talks about it in chapter uh 20 i think it's revelation in chapter 20 verses like 9 through 11 or 8 through 11 is it it talks about what john seen with his own eyes right and then once again the righteous side and the unrighteous side for hell which another word for sheo and that's only just a temporary holding place. Hell is only a temporary holding place. Right? And whichever, whatever you did in this world, while you living right now, whatever you did, you will be judged for it. And which side, which side will you end up on when you die? That's why the Most High gave all of us free will, free will to do what we want to do, to to make our own decisions. That's like I was thinking about it the other day, because I'm hearing a lot of people say they people not raising their children right and stuff. Yeah, they absolutely right about that. Why do you think that they wait until you hit 18 years old? As soon as you hit 18 years old, you're a grown person. You know, you don't got to you make your own choices and stuff. Because that one through seventeen, and so when you born up and up until eighteen years old, but out of all them years, your parents is the ones who's supposed to be teaching you the right way. Your parents are the ones supposed to be raising you right, showing you right from wrong. But once again, you got you know you got a lot of you got a lot of parents out here who who just little childish, immature people in their mind. So they're going to raise their children up to how they are, to how they think and stuff. If they don't know no better, their kids ain't going to know no better. You know, that's just a, that's just what it is. I was just talking to my mom and stuff. And my mom, you know, they used to tell me that, you know, growing up, they used to get whooped by teachers and stuff. They used to have rulers and stuff hitting them on their hand and stuff in class from like, like when they used to do stuff. But nowadays you can't do that. You'll you'll go to jail, or you probably or you probably get your ass whooped if you um uh um hit somebody else's kid. Hey, it's sad, man. You know me growing up, I I ain't experienced. I ain't see all this type of stuff. I ain't see all this this wickedness that's going on, man. Cause we, we was having fun when I was a child. But now you make your own decisions. It's kids that's bad, man. You know. And if their parents don't teach them right, them kids gonna end up end up going going somewhere where 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 the parents go. So just not to get off track, but um, when you think about this, hell 
is a temporary holding place. That is only a temporary place. And then in Revelations, it talks about it. In chapter 20, it talks about what John seen. John said that he seen a big white throne. Big white throne. And two books was open. Two books. Right? Stay with me now. Two books was open. And he said that he seen the Most High sitting on that throne with them books open. God. He had he got the books open. And standing there, he said that he seen the dead. Hell and and the dead. Now, catch that. Hell and the dead. Righteous and unrighteous. The grave was standing in front of him, was standing there small and great. And every man was, every person was judged by their works. Every per everybody was judged by their works of what they did on this earth. They were judged by it. Right? So, as you can see right there, it's telling you the dead in hell was judged. And whoever was whoever name was not in that land book of life was cast into the lake of fire. So how if hell is being judged, the grave, Sheol is being judged, and whoever name is not in the land book of life will be cast into the lake of fire. How is that the same thing? Hell and the lake of fire, the same thing. That's not. That's not the same thing. Alright, so when everybody tell you, oh, you're going to hell, oh, go to hell, go to hell. Yeah, everybody going to have to go by hell. Everybody's going to be in, in hell, but which side will you be on? The righteous or the unrighteous side? Which one will you be on? You know? And if you cast into that lake of fire, that's the second death. That's second death. You don't want to go into the lake of fire. The lake of fire is meant for... Is the, the listen, the lake of fire is meant for Satan, it's for the devil that was created for him, and everybody that wanted to live for Satan will go into that lake of fire. But I'm gonna get back to that that in the in a second. But I don't want to confuse you on which side will you be on for uh Sheol for hell. Because remember, and with Lazarus and the rich man in the Bible, Lazarus and the rich man. Lazarus wasn't he was a poor man when he was living, you know. The rich man, he had all the, the um um he had all the wealth, materials, stuff and everything, but he didn't want to help Lazarus. He that that rich man was very like a selfish man and stuff. So when you so and then when you read your Bible and you see Lazarus was in Abraham's bosom, which another word means paradise on the righteous side of hell. Of Sheol, the grave. He was on the righteous side. Lazarus was. The rich man. The rich man now catch it. The rich man opened his eyes and seen that he was in torment. He was in torment. Y'all, he was on the unrighteous side. And the Bible even talks about it's, it's gonna be harder for a rich man. It's gonna be very hard for a rich man to, to make it into the kingdom. It would be easier for a camel to walk through needles. Or something like that. If I'm if I'm uh, quoting it right, it said if for it's gonna be easier for a camel to walk through needles than for a rich man to get into uh in, into the kingdom. That's how hard it is. It's gonna be for a rich person. I'm telling you, it is because rich wealthy people they don't like to share their their wealth. A lot of a lot of wealthy people in this world does not like to share uh, share their wealth. They are very selfish and stingy people. And they don't like to um uh, share their stuff. So when you see, so uh, so right there, Lazarus and that rich man, it's showing you that it's two sides to it. It's two sides. So on Judgment Day, the Most High will raise the dead. He will raise Sheol, the grave, up. He will raise you up, and you will be judged by your work.
and your name and if your name is not in that land book of life that's it it's no second chances that's it if you make it into the kingdom that's eternal life but if you go into that lake of fire that's it Tor tor torture torment burning forever ain't no coming back in that place the lake of fire is only was, was only created for satan but if you use your free will and you you out here and you doing all this wicked this wicked demonic stuff all this you know let me give you some um examples examples for it. don't 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 get mad at me for my examples but hey it's out of love um drunks you get so drunk out of your mind you you black out you you don't know where you at and stuff and and uh you 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 wake up and you like lord how did i get here so drunks um you get high we heroin coke crack you know etc you name it um indulging in and participating in watching all that uh pornography and stuff um what is it only fans this uh reddit and all that if you participate in that stuff and you and you 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 know all these these females out here they want to try to try to uh shit on the, these dudes they want to they out here they trying to talk about all oh, these dudes are broke these dudes don't make enough money for me and stuff why you say that because you out here posting your body you decided to post your body on there your, your precious body that the most high uh created for your husband but you out here and you want to post your body on there to get a little check, to get a little money. So you think you think just because you're getting that little money that you doing something. You think you doing something. Mostly girls out here are making millions off of this stuff, off of OnlyFans. And you think you doing something. Now mind you, if the most high didn't bless you with that, you ain't gonna keep it. And that's not God, that's not the most high God blessing you. When you use your OnlyFans money and you go out here and you paying for all this stuff, you getting all this jewelry, you know, you getting all these, uh, 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 what's it called? That they like Mercedes and stuff. Hey, hey, it's it's dudes out here who got OnlyFans too, and you def and you you ain't doing it right either. You know, y'all out here, you getting these chains and stuff. You know, you everybody out here, everybody out here getting these bands, these uh Mercedes, this top notch um uh clothes and stuff. Um, was it designer Gucci Prada? uh Hermes, Louis, you know, y'all y'all out here getting all that stuff. Balenciaga. You know, let me just I'm just keeping it real with you. Everybody out here getting all that stuff with their OnlyFans money. They they robbing money. They they drug dealing money. They they uh what else is it? You know like come on now. You out here using that money and stuff, thinking that you out here think, thinking you balling like that, like like you got it like that and stuff. Man, please. Man, please. You don't you don't got it like that. You uh, what well well let me just rephrase that. Hey, you you doing well for this world. Let me just say that. You you doing well for this world. Because I'm I'm reminded that um the Bible talks about if if you love this world, the love of the Father is not in you. The love, the the love of the father. Y'all, please, please, uh, uh, you know, be be patient with me because the the verses. I'm trying to remember the verses, but I can remember the the sayings in there. But the verses, I gotta, I can memorize, you know, what what chapter and what that stuff for other ones. But it's ones that I gotta keep in my mind. But but hey, you know what I'm saying? All all you Bible uh, readers, you you know you know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. I mean, y'all y'all can quote the verses better than I can. You know. Um, if you love this world, the love of the Father is not in you. If the world loves you, you need to you need to check and see which side that you that you want. Who are you really serving? If 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 everybody loves you, if you just love by everybody, you know. Look at all these rappers that I talk about. All these rappers and stuff. Everybody worship these dudes. Everybody love these dudes, man. Everybody want to be like these dudes. Everybody want to dress like, talk like, rap like. Uh, everybody want to be like these these demonic people, man. These people are are demonic, bro. 
you know, these these dudes are demonic. Listen to their music. If you rap about if if you rapping for the devil, then you better be be um um you better understand and be prepared for where you will go when you die. But people not not teaching this stuff to them, or they probably do know, but they just they just want to do it. You know, and and this word the word got got to get to them, man, because. They out here making music talking about how many bodies they kill, um, how many dudes they kill, how many people they rob, how much females that, that they had sex with, how many uh, you know, man, you know, bro, it's it's sad, man. It's sad. It's uh, and you know they all they leading people down the wrong path. That's the wrong path, y'all. They trying to promote you to to go out here and go have sex with every female walking. They they trying to promote you and you got these these oh uh, who is it? Meg the Stallions, you know, and Nicki Minaj's, Cardi B's, you know they got female rappers out here trying to trying to encourage these women to go out and get this and and go out and try to uh, finesse dudes for their money. Um, if a dude ain't making a certain amount of money, they don't want to be with them. Uh, make they do uh who is it? What's that girl named Sweetie? Oh man, that that pissed me off so bad. If if your man ain't, ain't don't buy you a Birkin bag, go uh, go inside the uh, yada yada and all that all that BS that, that was coming out of her mouth. All that all all that all, all that that BS that that uh she was talking about. If a dude don't don't buy you this, buy you that, was it? Man, come on now. And people don't understand, bro. The lake of fire is real. It's hell, heaven, it's real. If you don't believe, you better wake up, man. You better wake up. You will be cast into the lake of fire if you if you don't get your life together. If you don't get it right. But most people want to say, oh, man, who is he to, who is he to tell me what I, what I said do? Man, I'm going to keep living my life, man. Who are you to judge me? Just because somebody tried to uh, tell you the righteous way of doing something, they're not judging you. The Bible talks about a righteous, a, a righteous rebuke. Paul had to had to um um rebuke Peter, didn't he? Are they, uh, wasn't it a uh, uh, Peter that he had to? Because because he was being uh, a wishy washy, he had to he had to um uh, rebuke him in front of everybody, open uh, an open rebuke. But most people want to say, "Oh no, that's that's judging somebody. That's that's judging somebody." And then as soon as you want to want to talk about their sin, oh, they they ready to they they ready to to uh, uh get up, come come for your neck. What's one thing that everybody everybody is so sensitive towards, but they don't want you to talk about homosexuality, all these lesbians and stuff, all these gay men and stuff, man. I ain't got nothing against you. Love you, man. Love you. I don't got nothing against you at all. I don't. I'm telling you, I'm I'm cool with with with, with um gays and, and lesbians, man. I'm cool with them, bro. I see you. I, I dap you up. I don't I don't turn my nose up to you and, and act funny towards you. I don't do that, man. I you know. Most people probably probably think I do in my personal life, but that's just my my facial expression. But when they get to know me, I don't treat you no different, bro. I don't I don't treat you no different. I want you to to repent. And turn away from it. Repent and get away from that, man. Because that's a demonic stronghold. And that would get you into the lake of fire. If you don't repent and turn away from it. It would get you into the lake of fire. And mark my words. I'm not I'm not just talking out the side of my neck. You know, you probably got... All these sinners probably got, got people around them talking about... Oh, what you doing is right, man. You know, man, keep living your life, man. Be happy for what you doing, man. As long as you happy with, with what you doing, uh, th of course you're gonna be happy with doing it. Of course you are, because you you so you so stuck on your your lust and your desires. You you are happy with with what you doing. So all the people that surround you talking about, uh, man, long long as you happy, long as you happy, that's all that matters. Hey, hey. The Bible also says, die to yourself daily. Die to yourself daily. Examine yourself. You you gotta die to this flesh, man. This flesh rise up. You gotta kill it. You gotta die to yourself. 
this flesh is going to, is going to get, it's going to, man, I'm telling you, bro, this flesh ain't no joke to play with. Sexual sin and horniness, that ain't nothing to play with. Especially when you single, that ain't nothing to play with. I could, I, God delivered me from, from all this, this wicked stuff that, that I used to do. He used to, he delivered me from getting high. I was never a drinker like that, but I would, I would occasionally, like on special occasions, I would, I would, I would be drinking and get a little drunk, but that was before. That was, that's in my past. But this, he put, he made this for us to get horny because he put that inside of us. So that we can reproduce. I use our, our our sperm to reproduce. Not to be out here masturbating. Not 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 to be out here having sex with everything walking just because you you see a, a nice a nice looking body and stuff, so you want to have sex with it. He didn't he didn't make it for that. He didn't make it for for all these um um homosexual and stuff. Man, I'll tell you, I was in the I just was out chilling with my brother the other day, man, at this little this little hookah lounge and stuff. Bro, I tell you, and and I use my spiritual eyes that God gave me. Man, I tell you, I see nothing but wickedness, bro. I see nothing but wickedness, man. And I, and I speak nothing but the truth. You these these females out here liking other females, these dudes liking other dudes. These females will make a dude pay for it, but let another female go down on them. But a dude got to pay for it though. Uh oh. Just keeping it real with y'all, man. You know, just just a little, little, little real, keeping it real with you. Cause I'm just gonna speak the truth. When you don't like it, man, so be it. So be it. I don't care, man. I'm 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 so sick and tired of seeing people keeping quiet about this stuff. They uh are keeping quiet about it, but they want to gossip about it when when somebody not around. But you want to gossip about it? The Bible calls them whispers. Whispers. That's what they are. Whispers. Everybody want to keep quiet, want to want to gossip, but then as soon as the person come around, oh hey hey hey, what's going on with you? Oh man, y'all are so cute, y'all are so cute, man. You know when, man, man, cut out, man, cut all that out, man. Come on now, you ain't, and, and Satan ain't about to shut me up just because just because this world this world wants you to. I want you to feel sorry for for them for their their lust and their uh, uh desires. Yeah, help them. You you supposed to help these people into the light. If they if they're living in darkness, help them see the light, man. Help them see the light. Not not gossip. Not a gossip about them when they're not around. That's not helping. You ain't helping nobody if you gossiping about it. And so. You know, man, I'm just saying this because I want y'all to wake up. And because there's so many people that's going in Satan route. There's so many people that's that's on Satan's route. They 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 living for him. They rapping for him. They these only fans and porn stars and stuff, they on there showing their body to, to tempt. They say don't don't tempt your uh um uh brothers and sisters. That's what the Bible says. You ain't supposed to tempt your uh, brothers and sisters, you know, you got all these females on here showing their body and stuff to the world for for some money, tempting people. Demonic strongholds on them. Demonic strongholds, you know, and the and Bible talks about whoremongers and stuff, man. If you a hoe, you a hoe. And, that, and, and, and that's just out of love. If you a hoe, stop, stop walking around here, you know, because... People like that. There's a lot of females who who you know prostituting and stuff. They out here. They they sleeping with they sleeping with every dude that they see. Or oh, man, these good. It's it's sad, man. I see a lot of females, definitely in my area, who will open their legs up to anybody. Open their legs up to anybody. Anybody. Family members. They don't care. They're gonna open their legs up to you. That is that is so demonic. That is demonic, and there's so many people who don't want to speak about this stuff. Churches that that don't want to talk about sex, don't want to talk about sin. When this is going on heavy, man. Repent, y'all. Turn away from it. Turn away from it. Get it right, because the lake of fire is real. 
And if you don't, you don't turn away from it. If you after your lust and your desires, and you you think what you doing right now is good, and you getting some money off of it, what does it profit a man to gain the world and lose his soul? You gaining all this material and money and stuff from the, all these sites and stuff, and then you die and your soul going to the lake of fire. Is was it really worth it? Was it worth it? Is it worth it? Is it worth your soul going to damnation? Because y'all, mind you, it's a lot of family members that, that didn't make it. You probably got family members that's, that's trying to tell you the right way, but you got itching ears. You want to turn your you want to turn your head to the truth. You want to you want to uh, what is it? You want to turn your turn the deaf ear to somebody that's that's trying to tell you the right way. But nah, man, I'm getting money, man. I'm making money, man. I'm I'm getting that bag, man. I gotta do what I gotta do. I got I gotta do. What I got man. Look, hey, I don't knock your hustle. I don't knock your hustle. Get your money how you get it. But if you got that mindset of you about to, this is what this is your career. This is what you about to do forever and stuff. And you just gonna you just decide that you would that you want to get even more wicked and demonic. Hey, that's you. That's you. But all I'm saying in this video is repent, turn away from it because the lick of fire is real. And if you want to go in that down that route, hey, you use you chose you chose to go to the lake of fire because that that place is only meant for Satan. It's only meant for Satan and the fallen angels and stuff. But you decide to go down there to that route your free will you chose that you choosing to go down this this demonic route it's because you don't want nobody to tell you you don't want nobody to tell you right from wrong you think you just got all the answers you hate correction you 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 just you got all the answers to your life hey this is my life this is my life hey wrap a bit of mine take your hands off of it so, but if you on the righteous side and you know somebody with with a um who, who living that demonic lifestyle and you 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 trying to tell them the right way and they keep turning their ear to you, oh man, this is what I do, man. Hey, I've been doing this for for a while now. Why stop now? Get away from them. Get away from them because we living in some times right now. You turn you, you turn your head left and uh, left and right. Somebody dead. Somebody gone. Somebody dead. Family members, friends, children. Y'all, Satan coming hard. He coming hard. He is. He coming hard. And he's going to be tempting people. Some people tempt themselves, but he's going to be, he, he tempts you too. And are you going to fall for it? Or are you, or, or are you going to stay with the most high, endure to the end? Stay on that narrow path. Salvation to you, you, you going to paradise, into heaven, the kingdom. Which side will you choose? Because the lake of fire is real, and you will be judged for your words. Hey, I'm gonna go look in the mirror myself after this video. I'm gonna go go um um look in that mirror and examine myself hard. Am, am I doing what God want me to do? Am I am I on the right side? Am I, you know? Hey, let me go examine myself. But with that being said, like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Hit that bell, y'all. Make sure you like the video. Share this video. Share it with a family member, a friend, anybody you know. Share this video. I'm out. Peace.